Scott McGregor here with Adventure Cack TV, and I'm here in the Venture booth with Brian Day, and we're talking about the Jura. Yep. Um, we can talk a little bit about the Jura. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the boat first? Well, and we'll come to the super cool part of the boat. The super cool. The, part the more later. super cool. Right. Okay. Later on. So tell me about the super. I mean, the, tell me about the boat. The Jura. So the Jura is our new sea kayak. A uh, little over 16 feet long, stable. Great introduction to touring kayaks for a lot of people. So it's just intended to be a, a versatile, modern sea kayak. Great boat. Yeah, it's a great okay. boat. Okay, super cool. Uh, you've solved the sort of like rudder skag debate. Yeah, the that, sort of religious argument yeah, that people, that people have, always you know, get into. Which so, like, which one of these things is better? Why the would you use better, one? And, and, you Don't know, tell me that. Are hurled around okay, so tell me that. how you've done that. Well, we just put it together. And so into a scudder. Into a scudder. Which is a... A skeg plus a rudder. So it is a steerable skeg. When the scudder is partially retracted, it works like a skeg. And when it's all the way down, it steers like a rudder. Okay, so why didn't... You want to see it? Yeah, I would love to see that. But uh, why, don't, why, didn't they, why didn't somebody come up with that sooner? I think it was just hard to pull off to do the right way. You know, I mean, there, there certainly have been attempts to do it in the past, but I think we've got kind of a, a clean... Uh, we've done a, a good job of execution. Okay, let's see it. Okay. All right. So you up in front of the cockpit there on the deck, you it's have a, a little normal skeg slider uh, to actuate the skeg. So you okay. pull it, pull it back, and the skeg goes down, and you pull it forward, and the skeg comes up. But if we go all the way down, okay. that skeg blade then goes into a vertical position, and you can steer it using the foot braces in the cockpit. Okay, so what stops it from steering when it's halfway up? Just the the, the, the blade is still in the it's slot inside the boat. of the okay. skeg box. Yeah, so you'll be able to to see that that it's it's partially deployed, so it's not free to pivot. Great. So the skeg in the skeg box limits the foot pegs from sliding. Well, the foot pegs we use have two parts. They're a smart track foot brace. So the bottom piece of the foot brace is rigid; it doesn't move, so you right. can brace securely. And then the top pedals move, and you use your, your steer toes with the toes at the top of your feet. Right. All right. Great. That sounds brilliant. Thank you for solving that. You're welcome. <laughs> Scott McGregor here at Adventure Kayak TV at Jersey Paddle Sport 2015. Hoping you paddle forever.